Now lately, I've had something on my mind, or maybe it's someone. If you want to know what I've been thinking, grab yourself a roll of duct tape and join me. Oh, big, big week up at the lines this week. Today's vlog is a mission. A rescue a slap shot. Was Red Green really a vlogger before YouTube? Was he ahead of his time? Now there's no doubt that all those famous YouTubers have their own style. Casey Neistat has his sunglasses that he wears all the time. Matty Apoya always wears black. Of course, Peter McKinnon's got the hair and the tattoos. But what about Red Green? Has he got a YouTube style? I think Red's got more style than most of them. All right. And of course, Red Green's style was all about the hat and the suspenders, not to mention flannel shirts and the yellow rain suit sometimes. But perhaps what he's known for best is the handyman's secret weapon, duct tape. It's been an exciting week up here at the lodge. I've been doing some thinking. I don't know what you're gonna say, but sometimes you just gotta go with that thought and see where she takes you. Personally, I think trying to do the red-green voice is probably not the way I'm gonna continue this video. But I have been thinking about red-green. You know red-green, the guy from up there at Possum Lodge in Canada. Used to do a PBS show about men just having fun. So join me today while I reminisce about the Red Green Show. Now it was actually my sister that introduced me to Red Green. She gave me a VHS tape for Christmas one year. And I think this old TV is the only thing I have that might play a VHS tape. Now, I'm not sure she even paid for this tape. I think it was one of those freebies you get when you donate to public television. Let's see if this thing still works. This is the best of red green. Like I say, this is the tape that got me started on red green. I'm not sure if I'd ever heard of them before this. It might even work. Somebody wasn't kind, they didn't rewind. We look at the minds of men where available and have had a lot of fun doing it. No, I'm not gonna play this whole tape for you. I don't even know if it's still available out there, but there is a redgreen.com website. That's where I got the hat and the suspenders. And they do have some stuff like this available there. Don't know if this is one of them or not, but it might be worth checking out. Now, in all honesty, I have nothing but gratitude and respect for Red Green and the Red Green Show. And this video is really my way of saying thank you to Steve Smith, the actor who played Red Green, and the rest of the gang up at Possum Lodge. Look at that, we're about half full. I mean, let's face it, they put us ordinary guys with beer guts on the map. And of course, every YouTuber out there has their preferred mode of transportation. And most of those fellows these days are using electric skateboards and one wheels. Red Green, he had the possum van. That had real style.
Now, so many of today's vloggers are DIY experts are showing you how to do stuff, and Red Green was quite the handyman. Every episode featured Handyman Corner, and he could show you just what wonders you could do with the handyman's secret weapon, duct tape. Looks like I need more practice, but you get the idea. What was it Red always said? If the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. Now at this moment in the show, Red would usually take a moment to talk to you older guys, but I think we can talk to everybody. Well, the Red Green Show was funny. It was a comedy. It wasn't like a typical sitcom. Red was talking to you, the audience. He was talking to the people watching the show. Most sitcoms, the audience are kind of on the outside, just watching what's going on, and the characters play against each other. In the Red Green Show, they definitely wanted to communicate with the folks that were watching on the other side of that television screen. That's one of the things that, in my mind, makes Red Green so much like one of today's YouTube vlogs. Between all the little predictable skits, the word game, adventures with Bill, Handyman Corner, and all those other things Red Green did through various seasons of the show, just became old friends. And they were all done much like a modern vlogger has similar interactions with various people throughout their day. How many modern vloggers always have a cup of coffee in their vlog? It seems to be one of the characters for them. Sometimes the character's the drone, or the one wheel, or a bicycle, or a motorcycle. But in any case, these are just my thoughts on the subject. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And if you've never watched Red Green, I think you owe yourself the favor. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and put a link at the end of this video to the Red Green YouTube channel so you can watch some of his videos. Well, that's all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If my wife's been watching, I'm coming straight home after the vlog. I want to talk to you a little bit about maybe getting our own possum van and some of the things we could do with something like that. For the rest of you, stay safe, keep your stick on the ice. We'll see you later.